If anybody wants to play along in a different key, we won't. <laughs> 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 um, I'm going to do a, a few poems, um, and I apologize to the people who already heard these. We need a lot of you. <laughs> Here it goes again. Um, a lot of you already heard this. Um, this first one is called It's Raining Louisiana, and it's a tribute to my homeland of Louisiana. Mm. It's raining Louisiana. It's raining all the time. And when I tried to leave the place, I left so much behind. Uh, I'm sorry, I need to start that over. I'm sorry. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm starting over. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm playing okay. in a completely different key. You need a mic. I'm sorry, guys, that was one key. That was, I was playing in a different key. <laughs> okay, he was in the right key. <laughs> We're all tripping, man. If the young lady was saying that third mic. Behind. It's gray in Louisiana. It's gray there all the time. And 
when I try to pack my bags, I have nothing to call mine. And though I thought I'd left the place, I've been there the whole time. <laughs> I've been there the whole time. <laughs> now we're switching to C. C. Oh. C. C. The people to keep on <laughs> What is the other one? No flats. Just C. Huh? Okay. Um, oh. And uh, again, apologize to those of you who heard this. True story. Went to a coffee house in Round Rock, not to mention the name. And uh, I was wearing a shirt that said, I support the right to arm bears. Oh, no. <laughs> um, someone didn't approve of my shirt and let me know it. Uh, in, a, in no uncertain terms, uh, completely big, huge guy, completely freaked me out. I left the house, caught me out crying and shaking and freaked out. So I told a colleague of mine about it the next day at work, a psychology professor, and he said, why don't you write about it? I was too upset to write about it, but I did go home and write about it, and uh, that really helped. <laughs> so here we go. Mm. On Tuesday night, when I went out, I met a guy at a coffee house. He was kind of cute and kind of weird, so I didn't mind when he stood near. I thought that he was trying to flirt. He asked about my silly shirt. I support the right to arm all bears. It's what is said for one who cares. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong, but I was slow to see what's wrong. You're sure, he said. What's that about? I tried to choke my way right out. If we must have guns, then arm a bear. I said, I think it's only fair. I thought he was a constant guy. The peace and love and harm no fly. But when he said that guns are great, I saw that this was not a date. He asked me to support my case, but I had no words. I can't debate. I tried to change the subject twice, but he refused to be so nice. And just like these, I tried to say, but quickly pushed my words away. You liberal frogs are such a pain. You can't defend, you can't explain. You wear your shirts without a clue, so I can walk all over you. I think you need to check your facts and grow the brain. You clearly lack a smoke like you. Just take a face that insult to the human race. <laughs> Jewish, I said, a Jew, cause I'm a Jew, it sounds so bad, it makes some people really mad. You're Jewish and bad, correcting me, trying to show some dignity, but he does not try to save my soul. He only wants no gun control. <laughs> Again, guns for my children and guns for all men. And if you try to push your cause, my gun will trump your stupid laws. A gun in my shirt, a gun in my pants. These things never stood a chance. I'll wait right here until you see. Ain't nothing gonna stop my gun and me. I'm a coffee house bully if you can't see. So stay away from my gun and me. I'm a coffee house bully, you best agree. It's all about my gun. And me. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was fun. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. That was fantastic. And uh, one more. Um, there's been a lot of the news lately about the gap between <coughs> the rich and the poor, widening, widening, widening. Rich are getting richer, or poor are getting poorer. And um, last year, for example, the top 10% got 50% of all earnings in the U.S., and the rest of us, 90%, shared the other half. <laughs> and, you know, for all the rich people, you got to feel sorry for them. Oh, yeah. So I thought I would write a, a song from their point of view. Poor thing. <laughs> the poor thing. <laughs> 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 People. I'm too rich to cut my grass. If you say labor, I say pass. 
I am too rich to mow the lawn. The poor people can beg and fawn. I pay them bucks so they can eat. They do my work so I can sleep. And if they ask for better pay, I send them on their merry way. I'm too rich to clean my home. I've got a maid to get it done. I would never mop the floor. That's a job the bore adore. You won't catch me down on my knees when hiring them is such a breeze. That's what God made poor folk for, to carry my bag and open my door. I'm too rich to cook my food. They bring me meals to match my mood. With ordering, I use no tact. What I don't like, I send right back. And if my servants move too slow, it's adios, I let them go. I can't just sit here every day when I've got rounds of golf to play. I would do organize or keep up with my social ties. I hire someone to think for me, to draw my bath and heat my tea. I've got staff to know my plans and let me know just where I stand. So if you've got a problem with me, inform my staff and let me be. <laughs> I'm too rich to write this poem. I think you know just where I'm going. So write it up and sign my name. You might get paid if it brings fame. I'm too rich to think a thought. My best ideas have all been bought. I'm so rich, I'll lift my lips. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 